At Cornell Farm Nursery in Southwest Portland, every flower is something to behold. And so many are more than just pretty. They attract pollinators like hummingbirds, bees, and butterflies, the latter being top of mind. Especially seeing the like rapid decline of monarchs. On Thursday, the International Union for the Conservation of Nature deemed migrating monarch butterflies as endangered, a critical step closer to extinction. The group estimates the monarch population in North America has declined between 22 and 72 percent over the last decade, depending on how they're measured. Scientists hope the trend will reverse and suggest including specific plants in your garden can help. Like non-invasive butterfly bush, agastache, and then of course we're highlighting the milkweed. Sarah Finkel with Cornell Farm says there are five varieties of milkweed native to Oregon. Two are native to this area, including this one called showy milkweed. All of these are great sources of nectar for mature butterflies. So that's how they're getting their you know, day to day sugar and energy. Um, but this is the critical plant on which they're laying their eggs and the caterpillars are hatching. And this is like the food that the caterpillars need to eat when they're first born. Monarchs do in fact come to Portland. In February, volunteers with the Portland Monarchs began creating a monarch butterfly habitat outside Piddock Mansion. The group is dedicated to learning about and helping monarchs. A $2,000 grant from the U.S. Forest Service paid for milkweed and other nectar plants for the project. I think it's wonderful. There are people here who care about the monarch butterflies, who care about Portland, who, you know, we can't fix all the problems, but we can make a little bit of it better. Unlike the butterfly habitat at Piddock Mansion, this one along Northeast 24th near Fremont is very well established. And there's this free seed station. Since planting season began, they've given away more than 1,500 of these seed packets. That's a lot of potential butterfly habitat. Back at Cornell Farm, Sarah cautions against using pesticides in pollinator gardens, and she thinks of the big picture. Our health and their health are really closely connected. We as humans are dependent on pollinators for our food, but then once you start caring about pollinators, it's really easy to care about them for their own sake. Call it another type of butterfly effect. In Southwest Portland, Katherine Cook, KGW News. Yeah, they are beautiful. We'd love to attract more butterflies. And